Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with a classic review for you today. I haven't done one of these in a few months, and always remember if you've watched my classic reviews before, classic is a strong word. These are merely films over a decade long that I've never seen until now. And yesterday, I watched Soul Survivor. Now, Soul Survivor's copyright says it's from 2001. But I don't remember this movie coming out until 2003. I was definitely, definitely during the time I was in my um, uh, bohemian homelessness stage in Wyoming, and uh, and even in the trailer, it's uh, Kings of the uh, uh, um, uh, Queens of the Stone Age uh, song playing. You know their their era of relevance was what, what fucking four weeks. <laughs> so yeah, definitely, this I don't think this came out until 2003. This was a shelf movie. Uh, the film stars uh, Wes Bentley, Casey Affleck, Melissa Sage Miller, Eliza Dushku, uh, Angela Featherstone, uh, yeah, Angela Featherstone, and um, missing one here, Owen Wilson, uh, Luke Wilson. Uh, the whole setup here is on their way to Harvard. Uh, a, pa a group of four kids, t uh, co college students, stop by at this, you know, this club. On their way back home, back to the dorms, terrible car car crash, and um, uh, one of them are killed. Uh, suffering a head injury, Melissa Sage Miller, over the semester, starts seeing bizarre things. And, you know, it's one of those. Uh, this is, um, uh, spoilers here. <laughs> this is like a fucking forgotten movie. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if people who are in this movie forget this movie exists. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's, it's Owl Creek. It's Owl Creek Bridge, uh, Jacob's Ladder, Vanilla Sky, whatever you want to call it. It's one of those. Um, the person's really dead. It's it's a, a, a vision, a dream before dying. Um, everybody, like, the, the whole things that, like, the, the guy who died is the one who survived, and everyone else lives. But they have to throw in this awful, 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 um, uh, 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 added on ending where no no she pulls through she's gonna be okay uh, which was clearly clearly a reshoot um that's not how these stories end dude I, I literally booed that I didn't like this movie anyway um uh, I do think it's funny cause I was noticing watching this film there's actually a positive uh I mean they throw in uh, there's a catholic creep in there Sure, but they throw in a positive uh, Catholic message, and it is it was weird. Horror movies seem to be the only film genre where you consistently get positive religious themes. <laughs> I guess, well, you know, they're just they're about good versus evil, you know. The uh, uh, I liked Eliza Dushku in this. She was uh, she played the role right. She was sexy and creepy and mysterious and all that. Um. The Angela Featherston performance, you know, she was the uh, villain, for lack of a better word, um, and, you know, she's sexually androgynous and kind of non-binary, uh, and <laughs> it's kind of funny because, you know, looking, it's, it was, it's offensive. It, it's, it's very homophobic. I mean, not looking back now into the least, no, no, it was homophobic then. The whole attitude is, you know, you know, oh, look at this gay girl, this, look at this dyke, you know, this lesbian, isn't that just so creepy? And, I mean, there's nothing deeper to it than that. <laughs> it's, it's homophobic, it really is. <laughs> um, this movie was awful, I'm gonna give it a turkey. <laughs> uh, well, we'll, and that's another thing, this movie, one of the reasons I wanted to see it, because it was like the changing of the guard there, you know, 2001 to 2003, this is the... The, the 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 retro slasher meta age of horror films is kind of wrapping up that started with Scream and now we're on the way to the just god awful mid two thousands remake everything era uh, and this was like in the middle of their transitional period and the movie was definitely marketed as one of those W B look at all the sexy teens get chopped up movies. Uh, but it isn't like that. It really isn't. It's not a slasher. This movie could have used some sleazy slasher, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Uh, and Melissa Sage Miller is the star, I swear, you know. Uh, she's an actress that's always stuck in there because, you know, she was just so cute. But I think she was only in, like, maybe two or three fucking movies.
Anyhow, yeah, this was a this was a bad movie. This is a really bad movie. Uh, nothing else to say about it. I gotta go to work. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.